Hello, my name's Julianne Ovenden and I'm a freelance conservator working with museums in the east of England. I'm going to demonstrate the method of marking museum objects with their accession numbers using starch paste. This method is suitable for objects made from wood, hard non-porous material such as glass or glazed ceramics or metals, hard porous materials such as this jug or bone, or plastics. The starch paste method is useful because it replaces the paraloid and varnish sandwich method and does not use chemicals. It is durable, does not harm the object and is easily removable. The materials are also easy and cheap to buy. Some people still use the paraloid sandwich method which involves using paraloid and writing on the object such as on this glass object. This is because it's more discreet. However, in most circumstances, you can use starch paste. I'm going to demonstrate the starch paste method using this ceramic figure. Materials you will need for this are starch paste, a permanent marker pen, fine paintbrush, tweezers, scissors and a label. The starch paste comes as a powder. This is wheat starch. You make it up by adding one teaspoon of starch to five teaspoons of distilled water. You can buy this from most garages and then heating it in a microwave. I've put mine in a little old jam pot. So to label the object, first we write the number on the tack. Then we trim the tag around the number to make it as small as possible. Next we prepare our object. I've just used some tissue wadges to support it when I lie it flat. Then you take your starch paste paint on a very small layer where you're going to put your label and then using tweezers to help you place it stick it in place. Instead of writing on the tag you could use acid free printer paper and a laser printer or a photocopier to print some very small neat labels. Key points to remember. The starch paste method is easy and does not use chemicals. You should use archival printer paper or Tyvek and put the number on the paper by writing or printing. If you print use a laser printer or a photocopier and if you write it use a permanent waterproof pen. If you use the paraloid sandwich method, ensure you follow COSH health and safety guidelines. Some objects such as coins and medals are too small to be marked. In this case, you can tie a label on or mark their packaging. You can find more information about labelling and marking museum objects on the SHARE website and on collections link. In particular, you might find the Labeling and Marking of Museum Objects booklet very useful.